Let's move it one more turn around. Next turn is white. Now what is white rolled? White has the option to either challenge the previous player who was yellow and say, no, there's not two wilds. And that's unlikely because yeah, white's got a wild as well. So, And he's got a pair of sixes plus a one. So he might be quite, he or she might be quite happy with four or five sixes. Let's say white wants to really uh, push things along a bit and white's going to actually push it all the way up to six. Six sixes. Because white's thinking when it next comes around to my turn, if I'm still in the game, the bids are going to be quite high, so I want to move it up higher now. But still possibly be at a level where I think I can still win a challenge. Okay. And then it's blue's turn. The bid is at six sixes. Now blue, secretly, no one else sees, is actually holding two sixes. And also two fives. So, blue is not allowed to go six fives, which he's stronger on. He'd have to go seven fives if blue wanted to go further up. Or blue could challenge white, the previous player. Now, blue's got a six, so he's thinking, oh, there probably is six sixes. I'm going to move it to seven fives because I reckon that's, that's still a safe bet because the wilds, remember, the wilds count. So the dice has changed to five and it's going on to the seven spot. Back to green's turn. Now the bid's at seven fives. Green's looking at their dice and going, I've got two fives. And green is thinking, well, if blue thought it's safe enough to bid fives, I think it is too. I'm going to push the bid to eight fives. Okay, comes back to yellow. Let's see what happens now when there's a challenge. We could keep going around, and the play could keep going around with the bid going higher and higher, but when someone thinks, no... I want to challenge, um, they can stop and they can simply say, I challenge you on that bid. So the, currently the bid is held by green and it's eight fives. Yellow looks, he's, yellow's actually holding two fives. So eight fives will change it around to something different. So yellow's going to change it up. Go nine on threes. Because remember yellow is actually holding four threes so there only has to be another five in the other ones. Now that's a bit risky maybe because everyone else has been pushing up fives. But anyway we just want to see what happens. So yellow's going nine threes just to change things up a little bit and it's white's turn and white has another look at their dice. You can look at your dice anytime you like White's not holding any threes, so white feels on pretty safe ground to say, no, I challenge you. So let's see what happens when a challenge comes in. Okay, so white has challenged yellow. Everyone has to lift their dice. Everyone has to reveal their dice, we should say. Yep. Lift their cup, reveal the dice. Let's count how many... Bring them all together and count how many threes. Okay, bids at nine threes. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually only six threes. So yellow's bid may not have been quite so wise. Anyway, yellow's been called out. Yellow bid something that was not correct. Call them a liar, they've been found out. Yellow, when we collect the dice back up, will only take four dice. Yellow will only take four dice, and one of yellow's dice will go in the middle. Just kept there for the rest of the game. So yellow has a slightly harder time now because they're only going to be rolling four dice in their cup. 
and the round restarts. The other players pick up five dice and we start again with a roll. Okay, we've described a successful challenge. Let's look what happens if it's not successful. Let's go back to the previous turn and let's say that yellow decided to challenge green on the bid of eight fives. Okay, so yellow says, I don't think there's eight fives. Okay, let's look at the dice as they were laid out. And as we can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there is in fact eight fives. Okay? So yellow's wrong. In fact, there's another one. There's nine fives. Okay, yellow is wrong. So what actually happens is then that yellow would lose a dice um, in this challenge because yellow were the challenger, they were unsuccessful because there were in fact nine fives, so they would lose a dice and the turn starts again from there. If there were only eight fives, so exactly the amount, and yellow challenge green, because it's the exact amount, not only yellow but also white and blue would also lose a dice. So when the bid is challenged and it is in fact the exact amount that is there, every other player apart from the player that made the bid will lose a dice. There's one more rule that we need to cover and that's called the show and re-roll rule. Let's say it's yellow's turn and green has made the bid eight fives. What yellow has the option to do, and look at this, yellow doesn't actually have very many fives at all. In fact, has one wild, okay, which can count as a five. So to raise to nine fives, uh, yellow may not be that confident, but neither maybe they don't want to make a challenge either. So what they can do, and remember these are still hidden, only yellow can see them, yellow must at least put one of their dice outside of the cup. So let's say they will put two outside the cup. They could put the wild outside the cup to show that they have at least one possible five. Doesn't matter which dice, but they must put at least one out. They can put more out, but all the dice that are not put out are re-rolled. So yellow would probably put the one out. So then the rest go up, re roll. And you can see there, unfortunately, yellow hasn't managed to roll any more fives, but no one else would know that. And the rule is that after a show and re roll, you must raise the bid. Okay, so that's pretty much how Liar's Dice works. Basically, you play until people are losing dice, losing dice uh, as they lose challenges. Gradually, people get less and less dice to roll, so the bidding becomes a lot tighter. Uh, eventually, someone loses a dice, and that's their last dice, and they're uh, out of the game. At that point, you can keep playing until uh, everyone else is eliminated but one player, or alternatively, you can just stop when one person's uh, lost all their dice and restart again. The only other thing to note with more players is that the bids will get quite high. If you come around, they may go higher than 20. If that's the case, then you come around again, 21, 22, 23, and so on, and keep going around the board. This uh, is probably not a game that you would want to play with quite young kids, five, six, or even seven. Uh, one of the challenging parts, of course, is just keeping your dice hidden keeping your hand around your dice, not giving away what you've got, and also that thinking process of am I going to raise it, how much am I going to raise it, uh, am I going to use a re-roll. Excellent game for probably eight, maybe nine and up. So that's uh, Liar's Dice, I hope you want to try it out, and thanks for watching. Uh, these other game videos you'll find already on the Out of School Care Network uh, website, and I'll be loading some more in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. Thank you.